A new team of first responders are focusing on providing care to the homeless in urban Honolulu. The core team is responding to nonviolent 911 calls and other needs for that community to free up EMS resources for more urgent situations. Max Rodriguez reports. I was able to see the city's core team in action. The team just went live a couple of weeks ago. It includes medical and mental health providers focusing on the needs of the homeless population. 74-year-old veteran John Roberts Jr. was admitted to the hospital just days ago. But on this day, he lies on the streets of Chinatown once again. It's the president talking about me. Talking about something good, like getting me off the concrete. Certified peer specialist Mike Peacock is in the process of joining the city's core team. It stands for Crisis Outreach Response and Engagement. Peacock has also experienced homelessness himself. He is attempting to help Roberts navigate benefits. This is unfortunately a worst case scenario because he can't get up, can't go to the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. Some people have a mental health diagnosis, they're not getting their medication. So you need to have somebody come and make, you know, make sure they get their medication. The core team was formed to respond to non-critical and non-violent homeless-related 911 calls. It's made up of EMTs and soon community health workers and social workers. Two retired ambulances were refurbished for the program that started mid-October. They actively monitor the Waikiki, downtown, and Chinatown areas. They may finish their visit at the ER on the patient, but then we want to circle back with them either that day or the next day and help them address what got them there in the first place. Do they have mental health issues, addiction issues? Why are they homeless? The purpose of CORE is to go beyond medical transportation and connect patients with resources with the goal to get them off the streets. And I know you don't want to be out here. One month. This is the beginning of the second month. Yeah. As for Roberts... Here we go, John. One, two, three. He will be transported to Tripler Army Medical Center for now. Next is obtaining his veteran benefits he recently qualified for and hoping to get into permanent housing soon. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.